All right, new tonight here at 11, new court documents. In the case of a missing 14-year-old from Madisonville, today the man accused of picking her up and then taking her to Wisconsin, petitioning to be released pending trial. This is a case we've been following for weeks now. Brian Rogers is charged with sexual exploitation of a child after a U.S. attorney says he knowingly persuaded the teen to engage in sexually explicit conduct before transporting her from Tennessee to Wisconsin. Investigators believe the two met through an online video game. Two and a half Half weeks after the teen's disappearance, her adoptive father, Randall Pruitt, was arrested and charged with rape. Now, in a 35 page filing, Rogers' attorney paints a picture of innocence, giving Rogers' account of what happened. Now, he claims he was trying to help the teen get out of an abusive situation, and the documents say that he was trying to do the right thing despite possessing, quote, a flawed understanding of the law. Now, the paper is also formally asking for a preliminary hearing. Roger says he believes evidence, which includes text messages, will help prove his case where he was acting in the 14 year old's best interest. Now, in some of the new text messages presented in today's filings, you see a conversation between Rogers and the teen dating back to December. The teen threatening to kill herself in some messages. Rogers urges the teen to go to a friend's house or going to a hospital for a rape kit. Now, another big part of this case is audio and video recordings of the alleged rapes by the girl's adopted father. But right now, there are charges of sexual exploitation actually against Rogers stemming from those recordings. In today's filings, Rogers' attorney claims they were only meant to prove the teen's case. Case, and they were submitted to the FBI. The papers indicate these recordings were not shared in any other way. Again, Rogers' attorney asking his client be released, even stating that he will accept any condition, including GPS monitoring, restricted movement from his home, and a ban on the internet and electronic devices just to be released pending trial. Now, of course, we're going to let you know when a decision is reached.